Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you feeling today? I'm, I'm great. I'm great today. Great. Welcome to the yeah. IELTS speaking test. My name is Haidir and today I'm going to be your examiner. First of all, would you please tell me your full name? Oh, my name is Mila Sela Sofia Alfadila. And what can I call you? You can call me Nila. Oh, okay, Nila. Let's talk about home. Do you live in a house or a flat? Um, I'm living in a house because I feel house is more comfortable than a flat and I can uh, live with my family, my big family there. Nice. Which one is your favorite room there? I'm sorry? Which one is your favorite room in your house, in that house? Oh, uh, absolutely. Uh, I love my bedroom because I'm kind of like a person. And so I totally love doing anything on my bedroom, just lying down on my bed. And if, yeah, just doing anything. Yeah. Very well. Can you describe your bedroom more specifically? Oh, so uh, my my bedroom uh, has a uh, I I I don't um a well uh, I don't think that my bedroom is very is very large, but I think it's still it's uh, adequate for me. And also, uh, I have uh, my uh my bed by myself, so I don't need to share with my uh my sister, and has a good natural light. And also, uh yeah, it's pretty good for me. Okay, if you could improve one thing in your home, in your house, what would it be? Oh, wow. Um, I think I, I, I want to have a, a large garage because uh, right now we have, we have a small, small one. So it's really difficult to park uh, our transport, uh, our vehicles there. So I think it will be better if we have it in the future. Okay, uh, before we continue, uh, Nila, does your headphone have a microphone? Oh, no, can uh, you hear that? No, it's, it's clear, but it's just a little bit, I, I think it could be louder. You can speak louder, can you? Oh, okay, okay. yeah, I can. Okay, next, let's talk about films. Nila, do you enjoy watching films? Um, uh, I don't really enjoy watching films, but yeah, when I have a leisure time, probably I just watch it like uh, once, uh, one film. So I don't think that it's really, uh, I'm really often to do that because um, sometimes I got so boring when I watch uh, films because it's too long. Mm -hmm. Understood. What kinds of films do you like most then? Um, I I'll probably I love watching the kind of like uh, action movies. It's because uh, I can see a lot of a uh, good scenes of the action between the actors, and I find it is really fascinating when I watch it. And uh, so I can learn some of the movements. I think from that film, so I can apply it in the in my real life. I know it's kind of stupid. No, it's not. But thank you for the answer. Next, did you watch much TV as a child? Oh, I, I, um, I, I, I don't think that I watch uh, TV. Uh, I'm sorry, is it at the time in the past or like yes. my habitual right now? As a child, did you watch much TV? Oh, oh child, I'm sorry. Um, and as a child, I watched uh, much TV because I think it was one of the entertainment that I have, that I had in the past. So uh, rather, uh, rather than playing with my friends, I don't know, I, I thought like, and, uh, I, thought, I thought like in the past, I loved just watching television, uh, television. Uh, just uh, watch like a uh, cartoon and it's a animation and on the television on the television okay are foreign language films popular in your country uh, 
Uh, yes, I, I can say that it's, uh, uh, boots are very popular in my country because since I was a child, I could watch like Harry Potter movies, which, uh, which is based on the uh, UK. So uh, they, uh, it has a, a different language between, uh, a no, it, it has no, it has uh, English language, it, it contains English language, not Indonesian language. So yeah, I think it's, yeah, we, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, let's move on to talk about greeting people. How would you greet someone who who was visiting your house? Oh, uh, well, if uh, in my custom, we usually um, uh, what is it? We usually greet them with uh, giving a lot of food. To uh, the uh, to the people that come to, to my house, it's because it's like in a custom of my family. Like we need to, uh, 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 we need to feel them. Uh, we need to make them feel comfortable in my house. So that's why uh, the first thing that we have to do is uh, bring a gift order, give uh, some cookies and etc. So we can enjoy uh, chit chat together. All right. Would you greet? Uh, would you greet an old friend and a stranger in the same way? Oh, oh, uh, well, it's a good question. I, I don't think that uh, I will uh, greet in the same way because it's totally will it will be so awkward to us to do the same way. But I think we just uh, just say hi together and then just uh, talk about. Uh, uh, how you uh, how you're feeling today and etc. Just a uh, ch uh, just a small chit chat, I think. Okay. How do you meet new people then? Um. When I meet new people, I will always uh, ask about the permission first, of course. Like the permission, uh, if they have a time to talk together to get in deep. Uh, between each other to know uh, the name and etc. Because I think the the first thing that we have to make sure is the content about that. And so I think I think that's the how I met with you before. Okay, in this circumstance, uh, in this circumstance, Nila, do you think first impressions are important? Oh, wow. um, uh, well. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, first in person is, is really important, I think. It's because of, uh, it's because it's like um, the, uh, what is that? Uh, the, uh, the, it's like uh, something that can make us want to, or the factor that makes us want to, want to know them more or not. I think it's like the substantial factors uh, if we want to, to uh, know more them or not. I think, yeah, it's really a prominent for us. Okay. Uh, that is the end of the first part. Now let's continue uh, to the second part. In this part, okay, I would like to ask you, I'm going to give you a topic to talk about. Uh, please prepare a piece of paper and a pencil or a okay. pen by yourself. You will have one minute to make notes, and then you will need to speak for two minutes. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you the cue card. I'm going to share my slide. Can you see my slide already, Nila? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, All right. Wait. I like to uh, Yeah, okay. About... Okay. It's visible now, isn't it? Yeah, it's visible now. Yeah. Right. I'd like you to talk about a holiday you recently had. Uh, you should say where you were, sorry. I meant to say where you went, who do you went with, what you did there, and why you enjoyed it. Don't worry about the time. I'm going to time you anyway. You have one minute to take notes. Start from now.
All right, time is up. Please stop writing, Nila. You have okay. two minutes. Yes, you have two minutes to talk about a topic and answer all the questions provided. You may start speaking now. Okay, I'm going to be talking about a holiday that I had. Uh, so uh, in the past, in the recently, two years ago, I went to uh, I went to the old building in Smarang. It's called it was it's called Lawang Tewu. So uh, the Lawang Tewu ha has a, a lot of doors. That's why it's called Lawang Tewu. And I went there with my two best, best friends, and uh, we uh, we did a lot of things together there. Yeah. And for example, like uh, we took a lot of photos together, and also um, uh, we are, we also learned about uh, history uh, when how, why uh, the Lawrence was built, the reason Lawrence was built, and then also what happened back there, and etc. Because it uh, because there is a correlation between the Lawrence and Samarang. and Samarang is like uh, my uh, my personal uh, my favorite. Uh, a city, so I love I loved hearing that back then, and also uh, I I enjoyed it so much, and I felt so off of the moon because I felt so relaxed and calm because the qual uh, the air quality there it was so good, and the moment and I can uh, uh, what is that I can I uh, get I, I could get a quality time with my friends and also just. Uh, uh, doing uh, just did a lot of things together, and all of these moments, I felt so uh, good. And also, uh, we we uh, and about the history, and I felt so uh, fascinating about that because uh, I felt like in my book history, I I didn't uh, I didn't see anything about that. I didn't learn anything about that, but in the Alawan table, I could learn about anything. So it's, it's just, it was just fascinating for me. Amisa, yeah. thank you so much for your story, Nila. Let's continue yeah. uh, with the last part to the last part, which is none other than part three. Okay. In part three, I'd like to talk more about holidays and traveling, uh, Nila. First of all, if you had a chance to travel anywhere, where would you go? Wow, this is the next question. Um, if I have a chance to travel, uh, of course, uh, it's probably just a near from Indonesia, I think, South Korea. Uh, it's because of, uh, well, it, it, the, the, the situation for that is because since I was a kid, I tended to watch, uh, like, uh, I loved watching the drama, the K drama, and such, and I loved uh, uh, listening, uh, uh, listening to their music. So I think uh, that I want uh, that, and at the time I thought that I think in the future I need to go uh, for that country at least once in my life. And also, I wanted to, I want to feel the atmosphere there because. When I watched the video, I saw that in the South Korea, uh, the the generation, the new generation, I mean, especially the new generation, have do a lot of uh, things that are different with other countries. So I think, yeah, that's the reason, and and uh, I I want to go there. I okay. want to get, uh, I want to South Korea. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Why do you think some people like to travel alone? Oh, um, oh, talking about that, it's probably because of they are not comfortable to travel with uh, uh, uh with others because they want to uh, feel the uh, what the sensation the sensation of uh traveling alone. Be uh, since uh, uh, as a result, they will uh, they will feel that uh. Uh, they they can in uh what is it they can um what is it they can know the the other culture deeply if they uh travel alone because uh, there will be a lot of unsuspect uh unsuspect uh, accident, uh when they travel alone I think that's the reason. How does travel change people? You think? 
Of course, travel has uh, changed uh, people with a, uh, with a lot of things, especially the perception. Uh, and because uh, the, the most common justification for that is when you travel, of course, you meet a lot of people, and then you will share a lot of knowledge between each other, the cultures, and etc. So you can uh, feel the different uh, perceptions about that, and it can broaden your horizon and also. Uh, you will become more tolerant uh, than before, and and uh, and I think uh, the second one is you will feel that uh, you are uh, you will feel that the kind of uh, emotion attachment with other people. Oh, uh, it can uh, you, um, uh, the emotional attachment here. It means that you can also boost your confidence because you meet uh, another people. So that's why. Uh, it can uh, increase uh, the uh, uh, the what is that? Uh, increase your your confidence to talk with other people, the uh, the the foreigner and such. I think yeah, that's how uh, travel changes uh, people. Do you think there are any disadvantages to modern travel? I'm sorry. Do you think there are any disadvantages to modern travel? Oh. Uh, um, talking about that, there are several uh, demerits to modern travel. Like, um, perhaps the first one is it could be uh, uh, the uh, oh, what? Uh, the, the first one it could be uh, the the people that they uh, the the transportation I think because uh, right now in a modern uh, travel uh, we uh, the transportation uh, are um, uh, has a lot of uh, difficult uh, it's really difficult to have it like for example like if you want to go with uh, with the air air airplane and etc I think um, there are a lot of news about uh, the accident of the air travel so I think it will uh, it will one of the generate of the modern uh, 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 a travel and also the second one is it could be uh, when you once uh, when you go to that country you can also sense of uh, kind of like um, uh, what is it you can get a scam uh, because in modern uh, travel it means that the uh, there is the enhance uh, there is enhancement uh, the expansement of the technology so of course you will be so vulnerable to get a scam. Uh, from other people, especially for the foreigners uh, in that country. I think it does. Very well. That is the end of our uh, our simulation. Thank you so much for your answers, Nila. Yeah, thank you so much.